Joe Deary. Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. I'm out here in Senexit Village in Woodstock, and we got this big colonial in this very nice neighborhood to wash. We've done many homes in this neighborhood. This one just sold about a week ago, and as a closing gift, the realtor gave them a house wash from me, one of my realtor friends that I've been working with for years. And this home has lichen, black lichen, I don't know if you can see it, little dots way up into the peak. Nasty stuff. So we're putting the X6 to work already today. I got 3% cranked on the dial. I just spoke with the homeowner and explained to him some of this vegetation right near the house is not gonna like it and he doesn't care. He wants his house clean. And this X6 friggin' rips way over the peak. This is just the X6. No pressure washer coupled into it and it's more than capable on its own. But we're doing a quick pre-treat here before I start my downstream. I'm not washing this house with the X6. I'm just using it as pre-treat. Save me some time. Otherwise, sometimes you get on these projects, like I said last week and I've said many times, and you get lichen all over something and it ruins your day if you're trying to downstream it and get it to come off. You've got to apply multiple times. You've got to try to hit it with some pressure and then you never really do get the result that you want. So if you have the ability to pre-treat with a 12 volt, it makes your life easy and you produce a much better result. I'm sure you can't see the lichen anymore. It's liquefied jelly turned white and slides right off very easily now with the M5 rinse. It's been dwelling for a good 10 or 12 minutes. Well, I did some other work. I did the decking. I did this end over here. Nice and easy. All right, I'm out in Woodstock, Connecticut again, or still, out on Bungie Lake, working on another house. We're doing roof wash and house wash. And it's a nice little bungalow, not very steep. So I'm out here with Itchy, and we're gonna remove this big stuff gently. Got the 125 blower up here. A lot of this is coming right off with an easy sweep. So we want to make a little bit of effort. I've been up here about 10 minutes already. I'll probably spend another 10 minutes up here brushing and then run the blower out. And then we'll be pulling the X6 up here. Hitting it with some 6%. I got no gutters on this side of the house. Thankfully, no real vegetation to worry about. And then we're gonna do a regular house wash. And I think I'm actually gonna do it with the X6 just to run it. Switch hands here. Let's see, it comes off with almost no effort. If you were so inclined, you could collect all this moss, sell it on the internet. I think it's like $8 a pound for people that want to make terrariums. Oh, it's a shame. We're just going to kill it all. Time for the 5.5. Choke on, fuel on. That is one pull, baby.
it's a beast with the 5.5 attached. We could also couple in the eight gallon. Same way I do the 5.5, just disconnect the whip line from the bypass. Get even a little bit more flow out of this thing, if need be. Currently no need be. Beast. Uh, we got a leak. Right at that elbow. Next project out in Brooklyn, Connecticut. We got a very dirty colonial with your attached garage, vinyl siding, you know, normal wheelhouse property for us. And we are X6 with the pressure washer connected. We're playing with the dial a little bit. I think I'm putting up around maybe one and a quarter, one and a half percent right now. This thing just works like lightning. Nice slap. All right, we're out here on the next project. Nice little dormer farmer's porch cape. Very dirty. We've already got two sides done. X6. Coupled with the 5.5, making short work of things for me today. We got a ridiculous big project tomorrow. One of the biggest projects I've done. I'm bringing on some help from another local guy, Derek Nordman at Tri-State Pressure Washing or Tri-State Power Washing, I should say. He's gonna come give me a hand for the day. I got Lauren coming to help for me for the day and also my son, Patrick. So we're gonna have four guys on the job tomorrow. Lauren and I are gonna be running two machines. Patrick's gonna be helper for Derek. And we're gonna crank, we got a big condo project to do. I forget how many buildings are there. Something like 13 or 14 or 15 buildings, I can't remember. We're gonna do the whole thing in a day. This will be the third time I've washed out there. And then later this week, Lauren and I have a 10 building complex to wash. And it's just gonna be the two of us on that one. And that's been my push for the last few days to get my systems set up so that we can have two operators washing at the same time. And that's gonna be the key to getting things done we're making these dormer shots, no problem. Of course we're making these dormer shots, no problem. There was not really a question about that. We knew we were gonna do that. This is not very high. And the X6 has performed very well today. This is kind of a uh, test run for me to see if I was going to employ it tomorrow. I'm also going to set up my 5.5 this evening the downstream as a backup, as a fail safe. So if anything does happen to go sideways, we have any kind of major leaking or electrical problem or something, potentially with the X6, we can switch the 5.5 over to downstream. Redundancy, right? Redundancy, you always gotta have two, three, four ways to do everything. So nothing stops you. The only thing lacking, the only thing lacking on this setup currently is remote control, turning the soap on and off. We've been back and forth to the truck each time to do that today. Thankfully it's right there, so, you know, I might get my steps in. Get some bees.
I'm allergic to bees. All right, blue hose. On the hose reel. That sucks. Well, better that it happen today than tomorrow. I can replace that hose this evening. Ah, blew it right out. Thankfully, I was right here, not on the back of the house somewhere. That sucks. Everything is wet. Ugh. All right. That's no problem. Now we downstream, which we love to do anyway. Maybe I'm going to take that as my sign to just set up the 5.5 to downstream for the day tomorrow. I don't know that I honestly want to work the X6 that hard. It's going to be like eight hours of straight washing tomorrow. I need it more for roof washing than I do for house washing. So I think it proved itself pretty well today. That hose is obviously tired as are most things on my machine or equipment because we run the snots out everything all day long. So I'm not surprised that the hose burst. Anyway, we got some work to do when we get home. All right. We got the X6 replumbed, brand new hose, fixed our burst. We've tested it, it runs great. I put in an injector on the 5.5, ready to go. I wound up running this line to my downstreaming manifold. This was one of the degreaser lines. So I'm just gonna simply turn that on like that and it will draw from there. I'm gonna build the downstream with two machines at once. We're going to test that tomorrow. You guys have a good night. See you tomorrow.